creating a drum pattern on the BR600 uh, revisited. Okay, I got a couple emails again about uh, the first um, tutorial I did on creating a drum arrangement. Um, yeah, I kind of had thoughts about that when I did that video uh, using that blues uh, drum pattern. So what I did was I went ahead and uh, recorded a uh, guitar part and chose another drum pattern I did for another song I had wrote. And I think this would be, uh, you can really hear the changes in the pattern. So let's play a little bit of the song here. Okay. So you can hear the drum pattern. So it's just a straight, what I did was, um, I'll show you the first number I used for this one here. Okay, I think, uh, I think that's good enough right now. So I'm going to stop the recorder and uh, press the zero button to get us back to zero. So again, in the, uh, in the first tutorial, um, you know, you press the, I went ahead and, the first part of that was fine. You know, you press the rhythm button and the arrange button and let's move over here and you see that you have, uh, those are already lit because I, I chose that before. So I'm gonna go ahead and press the rhythm edit button. So when you press that, and this is the same as in the first one. You can see this is the SO1 is a song. So you can have, again, you can have five different drum arrangements for one song. So you can see it's uh, song number one, and that's empty meaning that's the first uh, drum, um, drum arrangement for the song. And again, we are in step mode. So you want to, you have to enter yes for step mode. Okay, so you can see here, that I picked uh, drum pattern 028, which I think is, uh, yeah, rock number five. Uh, there's a page in the back of the manual that um, shows all the drum patterns. And originally, the default for this pattern was uh, 120 beats. So you can change them. I'm using the time uh, value knob to change the tempo. So for this song, I used 130. So we have, so that's the tempo, and I'm using verse 2 of pattern 28. So let's go back to the main screen again. So again, you also always have to press the uh, edit button, and you have to press it twice to get back to the beginning of the song. So let's listen to the song, and uh, go back to, and I'll, I'll put a fill in for that. Okay. So I'm going to stop it here. Uh, looking at the, the, you know, up here, this, this is the bars, and um, this is the, the um, I think the time clock number. So listening to the song, I know I'm going to put a fill right here at bar 10. So again, we have to come back to the rhythm and arrange, and you press the rhythm edit. Uh, you can see here, we're back in step mode press enter. So this is step one. This is where the original verse was. So I'm going to put a fill. The next, the, so, you know, the first number here is the first step. So the second step, I want to put a fill in at, see the changing here at the time value knob, at measure 10. And you also have to change the pattern number. So I know it's 29. And so that's going to play for one measure. And so step three, I'm going to go back to um, having the verse song again, you know, the, the main verses song. So after you do that, you have to press the exit button twice because that takes you back 
to the main C is, is saving. So now let's zero and press play. So you heard that at 10, heard that change. So I'm going to put a, um, another uh, field in at bar 14. So again, you press the rhythm edit button. <clears throat> Select step by pressing the enter button. And we advance to the next step. You know, step 4 here. And at 14... We're going to go and we're going to put in fill 2. So again, you want your fill to play for measure. Notice you don't have to, but that's what we what we do here. And then step 5 will be going back to the, to the verse again. And again, you have to press exit and exit again and save. So you don't have to go all the way back to the beginning. What you do is you, you turn the time, the time of value knob. And I just turn that to back to 9. To, uh, measure number nine. Now, you hear that? That's where it's, now that's where we're entering at. Okay, at bar 18, I want to put another field in. So, again, just press the rhythm edit, press enter. Selecting step, increase uh, the next step to three, four, five, and so this one will start at, at 19. We're going to put in another fill, F2 again. We know we only want that to play for one measure. So you have to think in kind of musical terms of how many measures you want uh, your fills or your verses to play. So I'm advancing to step seven, and see it automatically advances uh, the measure here. And we want to go back to V2, put the verse in. Press the exit, exit again, it saves. Use the time value knob and turn that back to me, back to 14. Okay, let's put a fill in at 22. That sounded good. Again, press the rhythm edit. Press the enter button, select step. And... Uh, 20... At 24. And put a fill in there. Because that's only going to play for one, one measure. Increase the step number nine and put in back to back to the main verse. Press exit, exit again, rewind it back a little bit and then Okay, I'm holding right here and we're going to go to the second part. 